Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Here I'm going to be talking about the new Ubuntu 14.10 GNOME edition and it's mainly a look at the GNOME implementation rather than what the Ubuntu is, what's the kernel and all that sort of stuff. I'm just looking at the GNOME version, um, what software is included that comes with GNOME, not with Ubuntu. If you want to know that, I suggest you look at a different review. There'll be hundreds of Ubuntu 14.10 reviews coming out, but I don't think too many people talk about the um, GNOME release, which is what I'm planning to do. So, this is a pretty much stock version of GNOME. There are a couple of changes that I have made, which I'll talk about as I go through, because this is the second time that I will have recorded this video because I managed to freeze and lock up my system because I was an idiot of what I was trying to do. And some of the updates that I'll be showing you I've already done, so I won't be doing them again. Right, um, this is what you get. This is the plain standard install, so obviously we can change our backgrounds and we get quite a few nice backgrounds in here. Okay, not loads, but we get a few. And to be honest, anything's better than the one we've got on at the moment. In fact, I think I might pick that one there. Um, there we go, that's a bit more colourful. Right. Um, the GNOME version that comes with 14.10 is 3.12. Kind of. Um, and what I mean by kind of is, yeah, it's got most of 3.12, but some things are still way back in 3.10. For example, Nautilus, um, the version that comes on the disk is 3.10.1. Now, I'd love to show you that, but I've actually updated the system, and I'm now on the 3.12.2 release. But I want to show you why that is. Well, the official Ubuntu GNOME page does say that it comes with most of the things that you should be getting with 3.12 and then it says the rest of it you should get from the GNOME PPA. Now it needs to be the GNOME stable PPA which is this one here not the staging one. I'll talk about why afterwards. So this is the this, whoops, this here is the stable PPA and you can see here if I just go down to topic and filter all these out most of these packages are 3.12 so most of these should have been installed on the CD, should they not? I mean, look, um, yes, these came out fairly recently, but they've been around since March. That's when GNOME 3.12 was actually released. So it seems like we're a bit slow to get these out, Ubuntu. But at least they're out now anyway. Well, not thanks to you, it's more thanks to the GNOME team. But uh, thank goodness they're on top of the ball. Um, <coughs> I have installed these, I'll show you how to do it for anyone that's not sure, we just need to go to a terminal and we need to write in, so we go sudo apt add repository ppa gnome team gnome 3 and I will put that link in the notes underneath this video. So hit enter, it'll ask you if you're sure to do that, say yes and then update your system. And once you've done that, it shouldn't take very long. We then dist upgrade. Now I recommend, oh, there we go, we'll get used to seeing those. Quit that. Well, um, dist upgrade actually will uninstall and swap things over. It, I find it much better for things like this where I'm changing the um, window, not the window manager, dis, the desktop environment. Okay, upgrade is what I would normally use, but for this sort of thing, dist upgrade, I think, is what you want. And then you need to reboot. Before you do anything else, reboot, and you get into a system that looks like this. Now, you saw an error come up before. I have the odd one coming up. Now, to be fair, I had a boatload of those in 1404 when it came out, so it's not really a shock. However, I have actually updated to 1404. To see what that was like, that in, that involves adding the PPA we've just done and the staging PPA, which is pretty easy to do, and that kind of well, it worked okay. I got access to some extra bits of software, saw the new weather app. It was all right, um, but I can just look out the window if I really want to know what the weather's like outside, uh, or I can do a quick internet search. I couldn't really see the. I kind of get why it's there, but it's not a not something that's going to make me, you know, backflip around the room in excitement. Um, 
known boxes I was able to install that but it didn't actually I had to specify that I wanted it installed um, the reason I'm no longer on 1404 was I was just getting sick and tired of the errors that were coming up I seem to be getting a heck of a lot more than I normally would I know it's the staging repo I'm aware of that and in my opinion it just wasn't worth the update now as for 312 or Ubuntu's implementation of 312 it's pretty good um, it's nice and smooth Okay, it, it works really well, it's fast to search. Now I am I do have this installed on an SSD drive, but still it's uh, it's fast to, to search. Let's see sound. We go sound S O E yeah. Yep, sound, audacity, sound levels, I can look at all those, great. Um we have what else did I install? I've installed VLC. Yep, there it is. I've installed K Caden Live. As you can see there, it's pretty quick, pretty snappy, which I quite like. Things I don't like are what's missing. I mean, GNOME 3.12, it's big. Sort of The things it brought to the table over 3.10 were things like, you know, GNOME Music, GNOME Sound Recorder, GNOME Photos. It all had facelifts, and they were all, you know, lovely and wonderful. Well, they're not installed. Some of them you can install after you've put that PPA in, but not many of them. Um, GNOME Photos, I think you can, and GNOME Music, well, in 3.12 I think it installs, I haven't tried it yet, but GNOME 3.14 update, yes it installs, and no it doesn't run. Um, I have no idea why it doesn't run, it just seems to not want to, so it just gives up and not really don't really understand some of the error messages that are coming through for it and I just got so sick and tired of it I just reverted back to 312 another thing that really does annoy me that's missing is the GNOME software if we type software up the updater software and updates any drivers and the software center well the software center I really don't like I would much rather use Synaptic not installed by default but easy to install or the command line this just oh to me I mean I like this I like that you have the stars here but pff, it's slow it takes forever the GNOME software I was really looking forward to having a go at um, it's not I know that it's not available in 312 it was gonna be released for 314 but hey updating to 314 it's not there still well, why am I getting so annoyed about it? Well, it's because 3.12's party piece and 3.14's party piece is that in here you can actually group your icons together. You can only do that using GNOME software. GNOME software is not installed on this machine. So I can't group things. I'm stuck to having everything separate, which is really annoying. I would like to be able to group them. Okay, I can do it on an iPad, which has been out for years and years. I can do it on Fedora, I can do it on Arch, I just can't do it on Ubuntu for some reason. I know that they prefer using the Ubuntu Software Center, I don't know why they prefer using it, but they do. I did manage to download and compile it from source, GNOME Software, but it didn't work. It would start, but it wouldn't locate most of the packages on my system, I think I found about five. Um, I couldn't group them, it would crash quite regularly, so it's it's not really ready yet. Or the version I downloaded didn't seem to be anyway. I think there is a version available for 3.12 from source. I haven't tried to compile it yet. Um, if anyone has, leave me a comment in the area below and I'll have a look at it. I do really want to get it working because I want to have a nice play and start grouping icons. Um, just really frustrating. Right, before I go, there's a couple more things that I think people need to be aware of. One, there is a huge bug in the system if you use extensions. Now I use extensions quite a bit. In order to activate them you go into the tweak tool. You can go to the GNOME extensions website but I just use this. One thing I like about the Ubuntu GNOME edition is if we go to extensions the ones with the grayed out remove icon they're ones that are here by default. These are already here. Normally, on, well, on OpenSUSE and Arch, when I've tried this, there's been none. So it's quite nice to have a few recommended ones already installed that you know are going to work. Now, I quite like using the alternate tab. I don't use the applications menu anymore, which is where this turns into a proper menu. Okay, I found that I don't actually use it, so I'll turn that off. Um, Auto move windows. Yeah. Well, I don't really use that many workspaces, so 
that doesn't bother me. Um, ones that I do want, top icons. I like having my legacy icons up here. Okay, so if I have an app running, it will pop up there. You'll probably see simple screen recorders to shoot up there in a minute. Um, and one that I really cannot do without, where have you gone? This one, dash to dock. Oh, it's one of my favorite extensions. I don't know if I could use GNOME without it. I like having all my applications here it IntelliHides. It's just a fantastic little extension. And all of these work on the 3.14 update as well. Okay. If if I was willing to stick with error messages, I would have stayed with 3.14, but unfortunately, I've just not got time to be sorting all those errors out at the moment. Yeah, so I said there was one big problem with the extensions, and that is when you reboot, they all go. They're still there, they're still in GNOME Tweak, but they are all turned off. Now, the way to overcome that, you need to on the login screen select the little cog, the little settings icon and you need to change from GNOME to system default and that seems to correct it. It is a bug, it is on the Ubuntu GNOME edition um, website, it's in their documentation, it is being worked at but there is that workaround at least so that's quite good. Um, also if, when you're trying to install if you want to do a manual partition it will freeze the live CD and that will be game over, I have to restart the computer. The workaround that they propose for this, I haven't tried it, but it should work, it is to use Gparted on the live CD before you enter the installation, partition your drives, go into the installation, select what you want the drives to do, and Bob's your uncle, it should all work. Um, that's kind of it. The only other issue I've had is on 3.14 when I've used some of the terminals and drop downs, right clicking I would get weird lines through the boxes. Now that was on the Nouveau and on the um, uh, Nvidia drivers, so I don't know what the problem is there, seems to be annoying. Um, and is there anything else? Oh yeah, one other thing. When using the live CD to install, or live USB, this is an HD monitor. It's connected via an HD lead, and what you get for about 20 seconds is input not supported. Now, I think that's, I don't think that's limited to the brand of monitor. This is an Acer monitor that I'm using. I think it's just that the live CD is expecting to put out a VGA signal and it's waiting to be set up for the HD signal. I've had that happen on a few distros. It is annoying considering quite a lot of people are using HD leads now and it's something that I would like to see fixed in the future. Um, other than that, I'm quite happy bunny. Um, the default looks are okay. I personally prefer to tweak um, and I can do a video on what I use here, but I personally use all the Numix things. I think that's quite a good theme. I hate, hate the default um, icons. I'll just show you them. They are horrible, in my opinion. So these brown, ugh, it's just horrible. So I, I do prefer to use a Numix circle. Oh, look at that. What a difference. What a difference. There we go. Lovely, lovely circles there. And, oh, beautiful. Well, that is my look at the Ubuntu GNOME edition. Um, 3.12, well, it is once you get the PPA installed and everything updated. It's running pretty smoothly. I do like it. I think it's a good system. It's a shame it's only going to be supported for nine months. So, really, unless you want to go backwards to 14.04, you're going to have to install 15.04 when it comes out. But other than that, it seems like a good, stable um, version of GNOME 3.12. It's just a pity that 3.14 wasn't available and is still glitchy. Okay, thank you for watching. Leave a comment below if you like the video. Bye.